We're a 250 cow dairy located here in southwest Minnesota just out of Ballotson. We've got 125 of our cows in a parlor and 125 cows here in a robotic milking facility. You know, one of the things that we face every day is challenges and problems. When we're faced with challenges and solutions that can come together, it's, an, it's a no-brainer that you, you, you want things fixed. We have been doing a trial uh, with Ralco for the last 18 months and the Stay Strong for Dairy Cow product has been in half the barn for a duration of four months and then we had switched, put the other cows on and taken the cows that were on the Stay Strong for Dairy Cow product off. The same things have happened every time. Somatic cell count has went up in the cows every time we introduce them to the product. We have concluded that that is a clean out process and the cow is actually getting healthier. We've noticed decreased uh, feed intake. Now we feel that they're getting more energy out of the feed and haven't needed as much uh, consumption in order to meet their requirements. Our reproduction has been fantastic this last year. We're running a 31% preg rate on 110 days open. This last year has been probably, well, it, it's not probably, it has been the best year we've ever had for reproduction. We, like I said, we are at a 31% preg rate on a 21-day program, so we're getting exhausted with the amount of calves we're getting. On a 250 cow dairy, we're getting approximately 35 to 40 calves a month. And as a family dairy, that gets to be a lot of work. I think feeding Stay Strong for dairy cows is a, is a must in the dry cows and the lactation herd because you are in a vicious cycle that never does stop. When is a weak point for that cow? They, they don't get a break. You know, those cows are always facing the next challenge. So why should we take away a product that they need to stay healthy? Why don't they deserve to stay as healthy as can be?